Welcome to our show. I'm Corinne. And I'm LaShondra, and together we're KNL Everyday CNA. It's October already. Can you believe it? Yeah, wow. It's a busy month with a lot of very important events happening. We had bullying prevention, domestic violence awareness, and as well as World Mental Health Day, and of course, Halloween. We love to dress up. <laughs> each week we will be breaking down each of these important topics, starting off with bullying prevention. With school back in session and the CNA field being short-staffed, we felt this one would be a good one to start with. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's always going to be a bully. They can be found as early as preschool all the way up to grad school. Health care from administrators down to physicians and us, the CNA. How we react and educate can make a big difference. And you can help your children and coworkers from being bullied by prevention. We can bring a sense of belonging. You feel safe, even a sense of teamwork, and you see success and personal growth. Yes. In order to stop this from happening, everyone must do their part. We have all heard it takes a village to raise a child. It will take a whole village to stop by bullying, even outside influence. When we teach ourselves that it is okay to be different, to be unique, this will carry over into our adulthood. As far as in our work setting, we as CNAs can be very harsh to one another. We can break the spirit of our young CNAs new to our profession. We have heard Lori state many times, we eat our young, just like a village to raise a child, it would take a team to raise a new CNA. Yes, exactly. Let's welcome our younger CNAs into our facilities while honoring our elders in meaning our older CNAs with the skills, knowledge, and the ability to lead the next generation of our great profession. In healthcare, most bullying can be caused by these factors. Number one are poor staffing levels. Number two, excess workloads. Number three, power and balances. Number four, poor management skills. Five is stress. Six is role conflict. Seven is threat to pre professional status. And eight is threat to professional standing. The feeling of isolation, and the last one is overworked. Statistics show that workplace bullying is more common than sexual harassment. It tends to happen to those who do not have a good support system, unable to defend themselves, and this could affect patient care with the behavior in this work environment. Yes. It's a big problem in all work industries as well as our school system. Things we can do, start showing respect, mm -hmm. practicing empathy. We must report never let someone suffer in silence. Yes. And acknowledge. Yeah. Don't point fingers, pass judgment, or play the blame game. Speak up. If you see someone sitting by themselves, join them, or invite them to join you. Yeah. Be kind love one another, help someone that is struggling. This October, let's all do our part and stand up and help those around us that are unable to stand up for themselves. Yeah. Most of all, teach our children kindness, help our coworkers to understand, to guide and lead by example, grow our profession. Thank you for joining us today. Please like, share, and subscribe, and remember, be kind to one another.